Hello, <clears throat> it is the Average Gamer Guy, and I am back for a quick follow-up to my original Grand Tree experiment with Part 2. There were some people that asked um, about some additional situations that I did not cover, so I thought that I would go ahead and cover them really quick. Uh, over here, we have a full Emerald Upgrade uh, MFR farm, so that is a 12 by 12 I believe. I don't know, I'm sorry, that's an 11 on each side upgrade. So this should be uh, 23 by 23. Sorry, 23 by 23. No fertilizer, no nothing, just 23 by 23. Uh, and then over here, our Steve's cart, I have reset everything. Why are those going? These turned off. Weird. But I've added a fertilizer, and I've filled him up with some bone meal. People were curious what happens if you add that in. So we'll see how that stacks up. And over here, we've got some Zycorium experiments. Uh, people were really curious about the Zycorium so soil. So, of course, the planter will plant trees on this. It will not plant plants because it cannot till it. But it will plant trees because it doesn't try and till it when it's planting a sapling. So here we have one, two, three, four, and five stacks. Um, because the way these work, is one block of Zycorium solo soil. Uh, technically, it counts as being uh, tilled and fertilized for purposes of plants, although not all the plants work with them. All the vanilla ones do, but not all the modded plants necessarily do. But it counts as being tilled and watered, and it also doubles the uh, time to get a, or I guess I should say it halves the time for a plant to uh, reach maturity and each one of these you add halves it. So they'll go twice as fast with one, three times as fast with two, four times as fast with three, you know, five times as fast, six times as fast, so on and so forth. So I've gotten a little stair step from one to five just so we can see that progression, you know. Um, we know what that curve should look like, but we'll see whether or not it does. And then I went from five, I went to 10. So I just doubled the five to 10. And then I went from 10 to 20, so we can get a nice little, that should give us a predictable path. And then I went from 20 to 80. Um, so just quadrupled it. Again, that should be predictable. But what I'm trying to do is the last episode showed us that an MFR 3x3 fully supplied with fertilizer gives us about 144 stacks of logs in an hour. So I'm trying to figure out how much Zycorium soil do you need to equal or surpass that? And hopefully the answer is somewhere between 20 and 80. Um, another situation people would like tested is the lily pad of fertility. Of course, this is in a 9 by 9 It speeds up growth. It makes things count as tilled and watered and fertilized and all that good stuff. So we'll see how that thing fares. And then, just for fun, I've got a second stack of 80 blocks of Zycorium that also has a lily pad of fertility. So I don't know how those are going to interact with each other. We'll see if this produces more than that. Um, it'll be interesting. In case you're wondering, ooh, see if I can, come on creative mode. Do I have creative mode turned on? Because I would like to hover. Nope. Creative mode. All right. So the way we have this set up is uh, the planter cannot uh, plant. It can only plant through one layer of blocks. So it's not like I could put the planter at the bottom of a giant stack of these. So uh, what you have to do, and I need access to the planter on two sides, one to provide it power and one to provide it items. So I've had, so that's the situation. I made a U out of the Zarkorium solo, and then went ahead and put one on top of each of those. But I needed access to those two sides, so every single one of these, every one of them, is that same U formation, so the ratio is the same, um, sort of. Uh, it'll be thrown off slightly because obviously we're missing way more on the 80 stack than we are on, say, the 2 stack, where we're just missing 2 instead of like 100 and however many, not 160, but 158 maybe. Um, so yeah, that is what we're going to test. Um, we'll see which ones of these measure up and which ones don't. So I'm going to come back in just a second to turn the power on. 
I've gone ahead and uh, disconnected everything that we're not testing from the power. So when I connect this, they will not be going. Um, so yeah, we will uh, we will see, and then uh, it should be interesting. So I'll be back in just a second to turn this on and get us underway. All right, and I am back and ready to go. The only thing I did change is I have gone ahead and reactivated the uh, 3x3 fertilized MFR farm. Uh, that's going to be as a control because last time there was some lag as I went around and checked on everything which could affect the number of ticks. So I want to make sure that when we do it this time uh, it, we have a, a good base control group um, which is going to be this one. 144 stacks of wood last time so we'll see how that one does compared to these that way we can uh, compare the results just in case there's any kind of difference in the number of ticks that happen in game over the course of the real life hour so uh, I'll be back in just a second alright now that the timer is set up um, I'm trying to get rid of this annoying hum um, it's my computer it's super loud and I have uh, a really awesome microphone, but it's omnidirectional, so it picks up everything. So I'm either going to get a longer cord for it or just get a different microphone or something. Um, I've currently got a giant box shoved between the microphone and the computer, and it doesn't seem to be making much of a difference. So I apologize for that, uh, but I'm working on it. Anyway, here we go. My timer is ready to go. I am going to start it off. All right. I will see you guys in an hour. Okay, and we're back with the results. So, at the very bottom of this test, we have Zycorium Solo, single block, that's at seven stacks, followed by the Lily Pad of Fertility and Zycorium Soil with two stacks. Now, you'll notice that the Lily Pad had eight and the Zycorium Solo had two. So, what ended up happening is I had to run this test twice because I got some weird results. So, I ended up running it for an hour, getting the results, thinking, wow, that's pretty weird, and running it again. And we'll get into that a little bit more in just a second. But what I did notice happened was that the lily pad and the zycorium switched places. These results that I posted here are from the second test, which I think went a little bit better uh, than the first test. Um, but these did flip places. But what I'll tell you is that this time through, the second time through, the zycorium soil two layers got nine stacks. The lily pad of fertility got eight. The first time through, the numbers were just reversed. The lily pad had nine and zycorium had eight. So those two are probably fairly analogous, and it's a flip of the coin which one's going to come out on top. Unlike these next three, you'll notice it goes Icorium Solo Soil, three, five, and then four. Five is out of place. That happened both times. In that it was one of the things that made me rerun it. Uh, they were never in the same order, but the first time I ran it, the spread on the stacks was 12 to 17. So 12 was the lowest, 17 was the highest. The second time I ran it, which is shown here, it's 11 to 14. So it's really not that big a difference. The order was different the first time I ran it through. I believe it was 3, 4, 5, I believe it is 3, 4, 5, I think was the first time through. Um, regardless, it sort of seems like you should just wait until Zycorium Soil 10, where you get nearly double uh, the amount that you get from that. Uh, four or five or three soil. Uh, next comes the Steve's cart with fertilizer at 31. Uh, if it's of interest to, with, to you, the Steve's cart without fertilizer came in at 24 the first time. Uh, you'll notice, you won't notice, you remember, we started with a full tank of fertilizer and a full stack of bone in the cart. We ended with most of a tank of fertilizer left and a stack of about 15 bones left. So not even a full stack of bone got used uh, in the hour. And we did get uh, nearly 10 more stacks. So that's probably worthwhile. Uh, next, you'll see is Zycorium Soil 20 and MFR with Emerald Upgrade at 72. So this was the big part where I knew I had to redo my test because the first time through, the MFR with Emerald Upgrade was much below the Zycorium Soil 20. And I thought, there's no way the Emerald Upgraded MFR has such a low number. So I've got to redo this test. Something happened. Uh, and I converted it from a... a the system over a little bit and I think something had gotten jammed up and I don't know what it was but the second time through I kept an eye on it and everything seemed to work pretty fine so I'm confident in the 72 number more than I am in the much lower I think it was something like 26 stacks 
completely unrealistic, so I knew something was wrong. Um, but MFR with Emerald Upgrade comes in at 72. Um, pretty pretty uh, significant difference between the 20 stacks of Zycorium um, and, and that. Uh, next we have the Zycorium Soil 80 stacks and the 80 stacks with the Lily Pad. So you'll notice those are nearly identical. Very nearly. I did say I ran it two separate times. Um, the first time I ran it, there was a two stack difference. Um, and it was reversed. So the, the Zycorium Solo with eight, Soil with 80 was on top by two stacks. So not really much of a difference. That's The Lily Pad does not seem to be able to affect the, uh, the trees with the Zycorium Solo. It doesn't seem to make a difference. I keep saying Solo, I mean Soil. And our champion, uh, again, is the MFR with Fertilizer with 148 stacks. So this thing came out on top three separate times. This time it had 148, nearly 149. Last time it had 149, and the first video it had 144 stacks. So all three times this has come out on top. Um, if you want to compare the, the two different uh, videos, um, what you'll notice is uh, that the MFR did come out on top uh, each time. Um, the top producer, well the second producer here, the MFR with a silver upgrade came out at 69. That comes out just underneath our emerald upgraded uh, MFR up here at 72. So all four of those produced more than the number two place one from the first video. But you'll also notice the emerald upgrade produced 72 stacks. The silver upgrade produces 69 stacks. So is it really worth those extra three stacks to go from a silver upgrade to an emerald upgrade? Probably not. So that's where that efficiency we talked about, where it's just not an efficient thing for it to have to scan that large an area. Um, now, maybe somewhere in between the silver and the emerald upgrade is an even sweeter spot, uh, but that'll be a different test. Um, the Zycorium 20 and a Steve's Cart with Fertilizer would come next overall, then the Tin Upgraded MFR, then the Zycorium Solo Soil 20, um, and after that would be the Steve's Cart without Fertilizer and the MFR Iron Upgrade. The MFR Iron is at 22 stacks, and then we drop all the way down to this 14. So really there's kind of a, a middle ground between the Steve's Cart with fertilizer and the MFR iron upgrade where they're sort of in this range from 22 to 30 um, that are all sort of the same whichever one you want then after the Steve's cart with fertilizer you jump up to 20 stacks as Icorium you're getting an extra 12 stacks an hour that's fairly significant past that you're at the silver upgrade you go from 42 stacks an hour to 69 stacks an hour that's a pretty significant thing um, after these, you get into the teens, and you get down in, into the less than 10 stacks with your forestry, multi-farms, and arboretums, and the lily pad by itself. Um, one thing to note that I thought was quite interesting, MFR 3x3 with no fertilizer goes from dead last, um, not even a stack uh, an hour per square, which a lot of these don't quite make that, but three stacks an hour but put it with fertilizer and you're getting a hundred nearly hundred and fifty stacks an hour that is a huge difference um, maybe that's a little bit overpowered um, but you know it's uh, the fertilizer isn't supposed to work with MFR like the guy that designed MFR didn't really have fertilizer in mind necessarily he has his own version of fertilizer or she I don't know if it's a guy or a girl um, you know, but you have to do a lot of work to get enough sewage to make enough compost to get that to work. So keep in mind, yes, this is a, an extreme amount, but it's also combining two mods that were not necessarily supposed to work together to get those results. So hopefully um, you can use those results. Uh, I enjoyed making them. I think uh, next I'll probably be looking at some power considerations uh, of what is being used. It's kind of interesting to see which systems are using how much power, how much power you're getting out of each system for having to put into it. Uh, it is fairly interesting. So, that's going to do it for this video. I had fun. I hope you have fun. I'm the Average Gamer Guy. Have a nice day!